Hey guys, this is an interesting one. It's been pretty wet and windy in Perth lately. Uh, and I just want to show you what we're seeing. So this has gone from here all the way to here in the big backyard. As you can see, you've got your Perlin members running through here. And if I have a quick look, these are the only nails that are holding it to tie it down. So what they typically do is you've got some steel strapping, which ties it down, comes over and goes onto the actual main rafter members. But as you can see here, if you don't have your proper tie downs, this is what happens. We're like, why do roofs come off? So what happens is when the wind comes through, there's a lot of uplift that actually comes, but there was no tie downs between the other members, which are the Perlin members and also the rafters. They were just tied down by these, these nails. And this is what I'm talking about with load pass. So if you think about it, it doesn't matter if uh, your rafters are tied down, but if it, your purlins aren't tied down to the rafters, that's just gonna fly off anyway. So the load pass starts from the top and then the roof sheets are loaded, the purlins are loaded, the rafters are loaded, then they're connected to the tie downs, which are tied down to the foundation. It's, it's the weakest link. If you've got the, a weak load path, it'll be whatever the weakest link is that goes.